Hello. Welcome back, guys. So today is going to be, I guess as you see in the title, like, I just don't know what to call this. Like, I don't know if I want to call this hits and misses or, well, it's not a hit and miss. I don't really know what to call this because it's like, I don't want to sound like everyone else. Like, it's my current buyers, but like it's current faves, whatever. Stuff that I have just absolutely been living for lately. And it's like a mixture. It's mainly skincare, <laughs> but for the most part, it's, like, I'm obsessed with skincare right now because my skin is just, it's freaking out. So, like, I've just been trying so many different skincare products because I've been trying to figure out what works for me. And I have found stuff that's, like, it's going to be hard to beat them. So, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, what? I say um a lot. I'm so sorry. But, um, we're just going to go on. So, I am a huge Bath & Body Works person. Like, love them. Sorry, babe. <laughs> it's another obsession other than makeup <laughs> and shoes. But, and dogs. But, so they have had this aromatherapy line for as long as I can remember. And I've always loved the stress relief, like the green one in their aromatherapy. But I saw that they came out with new ones. And I finally got around to go in. But the Aromatherapy Focus, the this color line, the blue line, it looks a lot more neon. It's not this neon, but um, it's a little bit darker. But anyways, it's Focus. It's Eucalyptus and Tea. And the Stress Relief is Eucalyptus, eucalyptus and Spearmint, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, they also came out with Comfort, which is in all the... It's, it's decent. But, um... Happiness, I was not a fan of happiness. Like, it's, it's too much. Like, it isn't, it's, it's not okay. I mean, you might like it, you know. By all means, go look at them, check them out, smell them, whatever. Focus is mine. Like, I love this. It's, like, clean, but... But, like, I don't know. It's clean and bold. I, go check them out because they're worth it. Also, when I was in there, I got a lot of the wallflowers. Like, I love them because I love candles, but I never burn them half the time. They're just there for looks. Like, if I could come up with a scent, like, if Bath & Body Works would have let me come up with a scent, this is what I would have came up with. Like, this, to me, like, this is me. Like, if I were a fragrance, this is what it would be. It's Coconut Colada. It's like a deep, it's a deep scent, like not musk, but it's a deep scent and it smells so co like tropical, like coconutty. Other than that, that is just the two randoms that I have that I just, I had to tell you about. I'm going to go to hair care because I have a lot of, a lot of skincare. Not like a lot, a lot, but the majority of it's skincare. So, I mean, as soon as I get out of the shower, the first thing that touches my hair is this. No ifs, ands, or buts, whether I'm blow drying my hair, styling, whatever. This goes on my hair as soon as I get out of the shower. Like it's the first thing that touches my head. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. It's the Fresh Cut Split End Mender. Y'all. This stuff literally takes away your split ends. It makes your hair look so healthy. Nothing will ever beat this. I, honest to God, I don't think nothing can beat this other than a haircut. Like, because this stuff is good. Like, really, really, really good. Y'all, shit's fire. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, it's good. Like, it can make your hair look perfect. Like, fresh out the shop. Every day. It's great. It's that great. The texturizing spray. So, I have been trying to find a texturizing product that I like. This is the only one that's taking the cake. <laughs> it's pretty pricey, but worth it. Like, all of her products are worth it to me. I mean, she just, she killed it with this, this line. For sure. I don't use the Wave Spray as actual Wave Spray. Like, I saw Luster Lux use it as, like, trying to, I guess, control her hair. I can't exactly remember. Um, it's been a while. But... 
like I'll spray this on my hair when I'm actually gonna like style it and stuff but sometimes I'll use it if I know I'm, like if I know I'm gonna curl my hair I'm using this for sure because I don't, I don't I don't know if this is like the real reason but I feel like it helps hold my curls because my hair struggles to hold it like hold a curl but this helps and then mixing it with this helps tremendously because I'm not a fan of like heavy hairspray like I cannot stand for my hair to feel like I have hairspray in it like I know that sounds weird but I'm just that person sorry but this is me but um the dry shampoo foam I have to use this on the first day I can't use it two days in a row but I'll use this and then my second day I'll use the um dove dry shampoo and then I'll you know have to wash my hair the next day but this it's a scary product because you're like, I don't want to put foam in my hair. That's weird. But it works. It really does work. Like, it's, it's pretty legit. So, skincare is legit the number one best way to have a flawless makeup look. Like, no if, ands, or buts. Everyone knows that. For me, it's taken a while because, like, I have oily skin, so from in. It's not sensitive, but, like, not everything works for everybody. So, like, you can get something that everyone's, like, raving about, and then it's like, really? I spent all this money, it don't work for me? The exfoliator that I have found, like, this exfoliator, y'all, I cannot, I can't put into words how good it is. Like, for me, it's amazing. Like, it, I can actually feel it, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know like the texture of it like it's gritty but it doesn't like I the way I can describe it it really feels like I'm washing my face with like a grit of like sand like but it cleans every like I can feel it taking the makeup out of my pores like legit this is my third bottle <laughs> it's just I can't I can't beat it like I, when it's called scrub your nose in it two minute t-zone detox sorry it literally cleans everything out of your pores like I'm not kidding like you can feel the clean it has like a cooling sensation Whew. this stuff is to live by for sure if you've been looking for an exfoliator go to I get mine from Walgreens go to Walgreens pick it up 100% worth it the cleanser that I have I didn't like this when I first got it wasn't a fan but now I can actually like the reason I wasn't a fan of it is not because it didn't work it worked I just didn't like the way it felt on my skin like it was I'm a texture person for sure and I did not like the way I, just, I couldn't stand the way it felt on my skin I didn't feel like it was actually cleaning my skin and so I used it once and I was like, no, I'm not using it again. I'm good. Whatever. Well, homegirl ran out of the rest of her other concealers or cleansers. And that's all I had. And now I understand because I can feel just how clean it gets my skin. I mean, it could be because I'm mixing it with like, I'll do this and then do this. But it's, hey, this is the power team right here. I really don't think nothing's ever going to beat these two. I know nothing's going to beat this. Like this. This is just, hey, Seth and Glory, you did great. Fantastic. Um, but this cleanser is, if you're just looking for a cleanser and you have oily skin, normal to oily skin, it's, it's pretty legit. Like, I mean, and it's only, I don't know how much it is. It's cheap. And, I mean, this is one-stop shop at Walgreens. There you go. Okay, another thing that I have been using, this was... I don't want to say an impulse buy, but the girl sold me on it because she was just so sweet. I, I mean, it, it's called the Instant Matte Oil Control Mask. Reduces 93% of excess oil after just one use. That, 100% true. One, hands down, 100% true. It works. It get absolutely no oil at all. Um, it says that you're only supposed to use it like once a week. I don't do that. I use it like twice a week. Um, I can't use it more than twice a week though because 
if I use it a third time, my face will become red and kind of swell. I don't know why. Um, but it's supposed to dry out impurities to help keep skin, keep skin clear. I wouldn't say it keeps my skin clear, but it definitely takes away all the oil. I mean, if you have extremely oily skin, go get it. I'm not even going to tell you, just go and try, go get it. Um, also, face mask. Sorry, honey, I bought a lot. <laughs> but I went and got face masks from Victoria's Secret. But, I mean, these were only a dollar. A dollar. A dollar. I mean, they're the same as these, but um, these were prettier. I think these are... These are cuter packaging, so I got these. But these were only, these were like buy two, get three free. Sorry, babe, I did it like four times. Um, anyways, these, it's called, like these two masks are the exact same thing. The exact same thing, they're just repackaged. That's it. I'm just throw that out there. I'm not throwing shade, I'm just throwing it out there. Um, but it's called Let's Pregame, and it's a super skin conditioner. You like cleanse your like wash your face go through your skincare routine put this on and then it makes your skin like tacky and it it really helps like the lay of my makeup like I can see a difference when I use this and when I don't use this like in like the longevity of my makeup because it just like it it stay it's there like it's in my skin doesn't feel so like heavy once I get back home to wash my face off like this just these are on point okay now on to makeup I don't have a lot because for the majority of my makeup routine it's the same I haven't changed anything so my foundation has changed uh, mainly because it had to because Fiona and Styles is like my favorite foundation like so hard to find something to relate to this. I think I found a dupe, but it's just like five times more expensive. But that was my favorite. But right now, this is literally my current fire because it's, I love the light. Like I have it on right now. I did a foundation routine. Um, I'll link it down below. But this, it's, just, it's so creamy, but like I can make it matte and it's actually matte throughout the day which I like because I prefer a more matte finish. This isn't a matte finish, right? Yeah, this isn't a matte finish. But I mean, the full coverage, the, I love how lightweight it is, but there's so much coverage that I get with it. The setting powder that I love is LA Girl Pro Powder. I'm almost out. Like with this powder, I don't wear it every single day, but if I need... Like, this powder I can use, and I know the result I'm going to get with it. This Pro Powder just, it lays so flawlessly, and it's just worth the, what, $5.99 that it costs? It's super cheap, and it's extremely affordable and extremely worth it. So, the Make It Last Milani uh, setting spray. I have always been tried or true to the Urban Decay. But this, I just, I don't know. I always use it on my, um, like, brides when I do their makeup. And I never use it on me because I always just want to keep this, like, in my, my travel bag for when I go do makeup for people. But I've just, I've been sticking to it. I, <laughs> I can't help it. Like, my, fa my makeup does not move. Does not. I really think it can help with your longevity of your makeup. Rebel Rose. I got this on accident. Not really on accident. I needed a lip. And this was the only lip that like hadn't been open <laughs> at the Walgreens that I went to. <laughs> so I got this one. And it, this is what I have on right now. This liquid lip, I really don't see a difference in the formula between this and Jeffree Star. I don't. Even, like, the way they look. Like, I don't see a difference. Like, I don't.